here, so actually trading cryptocurrencies on DEXs can be a very difficult issue and many newcomers really get confused about all these things that they don't know yet. So there is one thing that is trying to solve all these problems, it is hash flow. And in this very video I will tell you everything about it. Because we all know that the traditional finance and Web3 are strongly connected and DeFi plays an important role in this connection. Those who guys subscribe to the channel, put your like and let's start. Hash flow is a DEX that allows you to trade any asset on any chain in a matter of seconds by simply connecting a wallet. All quotes are executed at the displayed price without commissions. In other words, users get the prices they expected. Trading between different chains is carried out in the same way. The project provides instant cross-chain transactions at a guaranteed prices. A user can select an asset and a chain to start trading without the risks associated with using bridges. Hashflow was founded in 2022 by Harun Kumar, Victor Ernesco, Ivina Drakavan. Since its initial launch on Ethereum in early 2022, it has expanded to Abitrum, Avalanche, BNB, Polygon and Optimism. If you check the Twitter and LinkedIn accounts of the team, you can make sure that they have a sufficient experience to make this kind of project and at the same time they have a very good reputation. The project team was able to attract good investors. Shortly after the launch of the private alpha version in April 2021, Hashflow announced a 3.2 million seed round backed by Dragonfly Capital and Electric Capital. In July 2022, Hashflow raised $25 million in a Series A launch at an estimated $400 million. They attracted a number of well-known market makers, including Jab Crypto, Winter Mute, Ledger Prime, Autonomy, and GSR. Other well-known investors include Galaxy Digital, Coinbase, and Jason Chow. Together, these investors received 25% of the total HFT offer with a one-year lock and three-year western period. There are two main participants in the hash flow ecosystem – market makers and traders. A typical DEX based on an automated market maker has many disadvantages. The two most important for traders are uncertain price and the map issues. Hash flow is a protocol that connects offline market makers with online traders. It solves these very problems with uncertain price and map. All hash flow transactions are fully protected from slippage and MEV attacks, regardless of where the transaction is carried out. In November 2022, Hashflow launched HFT, its Ethereum-based ERC-20 management token. HFT is a native token of the Hashflow as well as Hashverse, a gamified Hashflow management platform. Users can contribute HFT to staking and gain access to various functions of the Hashflow ecosystem, such as management, which is carried out according to the the voting mode among token holders, where the weight of the vote is determined by the amount of HFT in the staking and the duration of HFT blocking, and also the reward in DAO, and here we will note the Hashverse. Hashverse is the first gamifying DAO and story-based management platform. Tokens in the staking will determine the health of users within the Hashverse. On TGE, about 17.5% of the total amount was unlocked and distributed distributed among various community members, NFT holders, users, merchant market makers and liquidity providers and external participants are not included in the ecosystem development allocation. In addition, about 19.3% of HFT of the total supply was allocated to the hash flow team. The largest allocation is for ecosystem development, thus about 53.2% of the total HFT supply will be sent to ecosystem partners community members, community treasury and other external stakeholders. Various stakeholders have different western shadows, with more than one-third of HFT ecosystem development already unlocked. In October 2022, Binance announced that Hashflow will be released on Binance launch pool. HFT could be obtained by BNB or BUSD stake on Binance and tokens will be distributed among all participants. Staking period was from 
from November 1st to December 1st, 2022. The HFT listing took place on November 7th on Binance. The price reached a maximum value of $1.41. And let's talk about the very interesting project for me, it is Hashverse. The Hashverse is a gamifying platform for introducing users to Hashflow. It is designed to expand the base of HFT holders and help new users take advantages of the protocol. In addition to expanding the community, Hashverse should also contribute to increasing trading activity on Hashflow. HFT owners can block tokens to create an in-game character. They will then be able to complete tasks and quests to earn additional HFT and further increase their voting power. This is designed to strengthen the community by creating opportunities for users to contribute and earn HFT. Hashflow competes in two main areas – exchanges and bridges. You can look at this image that shows the advantages and disadvantages of this. And also we should talk about the roadmap, Hashflow's focuses on the full launch of Hashverse DAO, and also it is smart order routing, the Hashflow router receives prices from market makers and shows the best quote offered to a trader, and also it is fiat on ramping, it will make it easier for users to interact with the platform. Several points of the roadmap focus on reducing the impact of the large transactions on the price and expanding execution opportunities for traders. And also we should know that limit orders, time-weighted average price and volume-weighted average price are widely used in TradeFi, but are not yet widely available on DeFi. Another upcoming event is the release of new assets in addition to spot ones. Because pricing is done offline and Hashflow can support more complex assets such as structured products without increasing latency or gas fees. So what's about the Hashflow? Why it is unique? So cross-chain swaps without bridges, it is about zero slippage, transactions with MEF protection and of course it is Hashverse. However, they have some security issues. The hash Cashflow company faced a vulnerability and they lost $600,000 in their Ethereum and Arbitrum. Actually, it was stolen. And according to PackShield, the vulnerability is related to the company's breach contract. Soon after, Hashflow informed that it was actively working to resolve this problem and stated that all users affected will be compensated. The company said that its decentralized exchange remained intact during operation and assured users users that autopsy report would be published in due course. The Hashflow protocol has proven itself well thanks to the actively developing products, a growing ecosystem and qualified support, and therefore will continue to strive to provide the most convenient trading in DeFi. So guys, subscribe to the channel, put your like, and also check the link in the description under this video, and there I have my own personal Telegram chat. I'm inviting you there to trade with me in one team. Send me the code word private into my personal Telegram messages. So wish you all the best, wish you cool mind, and I'll see you in the next video.